today's special grape wine so now this is a traditional uh, wine what we my grandmother used to prepare and uh, my mom also prepares wine and i am using today 4 kilos of seedless grape and uh, for that i have about 4 and a half kilos of uh, white sugar and i have boiled about 12 liters of water this will be bo- boiled and cooled to add into the must that is the squeezed uh, grapes now this is active yeast i am using uh, baker's active yeast now so edmunds so i'll be using about 2 teaspoons of that to be put in a little warm water and allow it to rise and then we'll add after adding the sugar now this is uh, lukewarm water to wash the grapes and uh, this is uh, one liter of bottle which i have used for uh, creating 12 liters of um, water boiled water that is 3 li- liters of water for 1 kg of grapes and uh, yes so i am using this plastic bucket which is a tight bucket and uh, this is about 20 liters so if i add 12 liters plus grapes and sugar it should be around 15 to 16 liters of uh, wine so I must leave a bit gap here so that because the the fermentation process it will rise so I must leave that gap but we keep it air tight we keep it for about 21 days and i won't add all the sugar together it will be about uh, maybe 3 uh, kilograms of sugar i'll add in the beginning and after 10 days i'll add the balance 1 and 1/2 kilo so sugar to be stirred dissolve completely and then you add the yeast first and then add the rest of the sugar later on because sugar creates increases the alcohol content and uh, so you check the sweetness and also if you want uh, it to be more then uh, you can have it if you want the wine to be dry then add less sugar So you wash in lukewarm water and keep it aside. Later on, after washing all the grapes, then you squeeze each one of the grapes into the bucket, and that will create the must. Afterwards, you add the lukewarm water, not lukewarm, the boiled water, boiled and cooled water, and then the sugar. So three kilos of sugar I'll add in the beginning, and then I'll add the yeast and keep it for. 21 days after about 8 9 days i will open it up stir it and uh, add the rest of the sugar again close it so this process will go on till i finish all the washing all the grapes this is a cloth which i bought from india we call it bairas i use this uh, for straining the uh wine later on so once after 21 days are over then you strain keep the cloth and then strain the wine into this so that all the the pulp is separated and this if there are seeds on this is seedless so there won't be seeds but you will have uh, uh i will also be putting about uh, two handfuls of uh, wheat plus while fermentation in the fermentation process so this whole wheat about two handfuls i'll be putting in the bucket So, so this cloth is 
important you can use any other strainer to strain it and uh, so that you don't have uh, the residue is kept to the minimum if there's an earthen uh, jar like you get in india it would be good so i we are using a plastic bucket don't uh, ferment in any uh, metal containers plastic bucket air tight plastic bucket or uh, earthen uh, jar Wash the grapes. Now I squeeze, squeeze them into this bucket directly. This is the most boring job. It will take about an hour maybe to squeeze all this, but then the end result is good. You get that wine to drink. So squeeze it into the bucket. See you after an hour. After uh, an hour, squeeze and suddenly realize that uh, if you use a lemon squeezer, it will be faster and less uh, stress on the fingers. They should not take no more than 20 minutes. Four kilos of um, grapes after squeezing, and now I'll pour this boiled and cold water. Two liters of it. And then put three kilos of sugar. And that one and a half kilo I leave it for up to ten days. warm water and I will put in about 2 teaspoons of yeast in that for this 4 kilos half teaspoon for uh, 1 kilo so about 2 teaspoons and uh, when it starts rising then I will drop it in the bucket Sugar, I have put 3 kilos, just give it a stir, dissolve it. For the yeast to rise a bit more, it's nearly getting there. In the meantime, I will put about uh, 2 handfuls of wheat.
now close this airtight container and keep it for 21 days now but after about a week or 8-9 days I'll open it up again give it a stir and then put in another one and a half kilo of sugar and that will help in the increasing the alcohol content of the sweetness today I'm removing the got to stir it so this is the spoon I'm adding the another one and a half kilo of sh sugar. If they are purple grapes, then the color will be red. Now these are the reddish grapes. So Dissolved. Now we close it. For another 14 days now. So in uh, two weeks we open it and then strain it and then bottle it. Yes, I'll open it up now. And then we just give it a stir. Strain it. So I'm going to pour it in this cloth, the white cloth I was talking about. Straining cloth is called, you say, the virus or uh, so white uh, is a cotton cloth. And Then I bottle it. So this is the pulp. 
which will throw now. And this is our wine which we have got. So we'll use the, we'll bottle them and then uh, label them and put them aside. So when we are bottling them, we will bottle only just below the neck so that there is little gap. Otherwise, again, uh, the gas uh, will be remaining there into that. So we will bottle there. Now I'll take this funnel and start filling. Leave that gap. So that's it now. Our grape wine, 16 bottles, around uh, 18 uh, liters from 4 uh, kilo, kilograms of grapes.